Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today, we are doing a challenge that I haven't invented. We are doing a challenge made by the developers themselves. It is called the Do As I Command Challenge, which is what was one of the weekly challenges a while ago, if you remember. But I was very impressed with this challenge because this is a really creative idea. Basically, the idea is that the ghost activity it's going to be as low as possible. We're going to use the custom difficulty to tune down all of the ghost activity. And then we're going to have to make the ghost do what we want it to do by using the curse possession. So we're going to be having all of the curse possessions. So this will be a really good, helpful guide on how to use them and how to get evidence with the curse possessions. Because they're actually extremely powerful for helping you out in an investigation. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. But let's not waste any more time. Oh, let's hop into the game. Let's go. All right, we got Gloria. Um, we also have all the tier three items now. I have finally reached level 90 again, uh, which also allows us to do some stupid challenges that don't necessarily give you a high reward. Um, we need to find the ghost. For that, we're just going to grab an EMF. That's all. And then we're going to run straight towards the voodoo doll. Because I think it might be in... I mean, the, the, the mirror is amazing, but the mirror is a little too OP. I want to show you the voodoo doll because I really enjoy using the voodoo doll to find the ghost room. Because it'll force an interaction out of the ghost at very little sanity cost. Now, unless you get unlucky and you instantly get the heart pin. Well then! <laughs> Look who it is! Uh, that could have ended very poorly if that was the de if that was the heart pin. Oh yeah, they fixed the voodoo doll again! Yeah, look, it's floppy again! Let's go, dude! <laughs> it, it was broken for a really long time. Uh, we're gonna... First of all, the monkey paw is gonna be so good in this, by the way. Uh, we're gonna have to grab some items, of course. Without uh, evidence items, we can't get any evidence. We're playing on nightmare mode, by the way. It's nightmare mode with just some additions of the cursed possessions. And I've also reduced the ghost event frequency, which is usually very high on uh, nightmare mode, but I wanted to make it a true do as I command challenge. Because I thought that it's such a creative idea. There weren't, I mean, I have done, I have made over a thousand Phasmo videos, so it's very rare for something, for there to be something I haven't already done in the game. So I was impressed that they, that they came up with something that in like the three years of me just making countless videos, I hadn't already done. But we're doing it, we're doing it now. <laughs> All right, let's see, it's cold in there. It's probably this ghost room. Probably, it's nine degrees, it takes a little while. Where are you? Now the, the, oh. It turned on the light switch. Very surprising. That means it can't be a mare. Uh, and we can check for UV as well, which we should do. The ghosts are still going to be active. I also, I also want to bring in the writing book and the dots right away. Because the writing book and dots can actually... I don't know, actually. I know the writing book can be triggered by the... Um, the cursed possession. But the dots, maybe not anymore. It used to be able to. Like, you used to, if you used the voodoo doll and the dots was in the ghost room, you could get dots. Uh, but with the new dot system, maybe it doesn't work anymore. It can still? We'll, we'll find out. Let's see. It touched this door, no fingies, but that doesn't mean it's not a fingerprints ghost necessarily, because... Oh, you're turning off the breaker, not a gin. This is... It's interesting how low activity is still so active. <laughs> let's use the... Let's try this first. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? You can actually say the ghost name. Gloria, where are you? Where are you? Gloria, are you here? Are you close? Are you, fr that's EMF 5? Yes, okay, EMF 5. Easy peasy. Uh, and we're gonna try and get maybe writing out of this ghost now. Touching the door again. I need to be careful here. Uh, what? It's throwing many things. Like we're freezing. You know what we can also do to get more activity? I wish for activity. And then we can... Oh my god. Do we have... Oh, we don't have the photo cam. We're, we're gonna wait a second. We can even grab tarot cards. <laughs> this is fucking stupid, dude. I love the cards possessions. Ring, ring, ring. Not an Oni. Ah! It's fast. Probably right you? 
You can't use the tarot cards during a hunt. If you do, they all turn into fool cards. Oh no. Oh no! Oh my god. Holy shit, <laughs> complete darkness hunt. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Cause I broke the breaker by using the cursed possession. You gotta be careful about that. All right, well, we definitely know <laughs> it's fast, which means it's either the twins or a Raichu. I don't think the twins get that fast. So I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. We're gonna do obviously a bunch of games, so don't worry about it. Some of these are gonna be easy. Some of them are gonna be hard. I wish to leave. Oh, never mind. I can already leave. Never mind then. Goodbye. I'm out of here. You know what I mean? That's way too fast for twins, right? For sure. Um, if you're curious, by the way, these are. I, I need to tell you more about the cursed possessions because there's a few tricks that uh, a lot of people don't know that make, especially like learning how to use the cursed possessions, way easier. It was indeed a right shoe. Obviously, we're gonna. We're, we're not doing this for the experience. We're doing this for the fun. Uh, and to show off all the cursed possessions. I'm gonna do it on all of the small maps, maybe a few extra games as well. If you are curious what you can do with the Ouija board as well as the monkey paw, there's actually a really easy way to know. Uh, you can go into your settings and you can turn, if you can go into game, and then it says right here, voice recognition mode. You can change that and you can actually change that to text. Now, what does that mean? That means that if you're using a spirit box, for example, you get a pop-up window like this and you can ask spirit box questions, but that also works for the cursed possessions. So if you right click while holding a monkey paw or an Ouija board, or I think just turning on the Ouija board, it'll actually tell you all of the different questions you can, you can ask. Oh, hi there. What the? How is low with low ghost activity? And low ghost events chance, it's still do. This has to be an Oni, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's definitely not a shade. I can tell you that much. Uh, if you click this, look, it'll show you. You can see all the different things you can ask. Where are you? Where's the bone? Do you speak to everyone? Um, you can ask all these things. Some of them are completely useless. Uh, but a lot of people know that you can ask, where are you? A lot of people know that you can ask, where's the bone? Those are the main useful questions. But the monkey paw, it takes a while before you know everything that it can do. For example, what we can do, by the way, is this. Uh, other weather. You can change the, the different weathers. You can wish for uh, clear sky or rain or whatever, or we can wish for snow. And then it'll actually change the weather outside, which is super cool. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, you can wish to be sane. Sa okay, uh, I should actually explain these wishes because some of these are really strange. Look at, uh, I'll do, wait, turn this off. Um, we don't have this hiding spot. If I wish this, this is gonna, f actually, if it ends up being a yokai, we're screwing ourselves here, but whatever. Uh, you can do this. I wish to be safe. And it'll unlock the hiding spot. You saw that? <laughs> it'll unlock the closest hiding spot. It'll also break the lights of the room that you're in. So in this case, these lights are broken now. Uh, but it'll give you a hiding spot, which is really cool. Another wish that a lot of people might not know. Um, now, the problem with that wish, by the way, uh, is that not only does it break the lights in the ghost or in the room that you were in, it also does something very, very sneaky. From this point onwards, when the ghost hunts, it'll know where I am at all times. <laughs> not necessarily at all times. It's not like a Dio, but if I talk or turn on my flashlight, no matter where the ghost is, it'll find me. It'll come to my location. Wait, actually, they, didn't they say that it doesn't work, that, that it works on every ghost except the yokai? So maybe this is also a good way to test for yokai. So yeah, no, it doesn't just increase the range of detection of the ghost, it makes it infinite. So it can find you anywhere on the map. So it's really risky if you are not good at turning off your equipment. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna do this if you, need your flashlight to find your way around during a hunt because it's gonna end up with you getting killed obviously you also get a hiding spot though now besides that we have i wish to be sane which if you were wishing this yourself by the way make sure to say i wish for sanity 
and not I wish to be sane. I think this is actually a miss. This is this is incorrect. This wish does not exist because if you say I wish to be sane, no matter how well your English pronunciation is, it'll always detect I wish to be safe instead. So you should, uh, which will screw you over during the hunt. So you need to say I wish to be I wish for sanity instead. Um, so that what does that wish do? Uh, I wish to be sane or I wish for sanity. Um, it will. I'm gonna also get some items here because obviously the ghost is here. It will set your sanity of the entire team to 50% and it will change the ghost room to a random other ghost room on the map, which is actually like that is pretty can be pretty brutal if you're trying to get evidence and all of a sudden the ghost is in a different room and you have to move all your equipment to that new room. Um, so only, use that at your own discretion. Be careful. There's the side effects of these wishes are so hard to know. Like if you don't already know them, like how we, they're really hard to discover. So that's why I'm, I'm explaining them now. Um, and then with the ghost, I wish to see the ghost. This will make the it'll it'll make the ghost appear wherever it is at the moment. So you can take a ghost photo. It'll basically do a ghost event wherever the ghost is. And then you'll be blinded as well. So during the hunt, it'll be really hard to loop the ghost or see what's going on. You're basically going to have to hide. Uh, and then after the hunt's over, it'll disappear. I wish for activity um, will increase the ghost activity for a minute, but it'll also lock the door and it will break the breaker. So it's a it's like I think th this wish is like a huge downside, like it breaking the breaker is a massive, massive uh, detriment to the player especially with the new sanity system which i need to make a video about the new sanity system but they they have completely changed the game they've changed the sanity system to make it um no longer be like a dynamic system now the way the sanity system works is if the light in a room is on if you're in the same room you don't lose sanity if the room is very big such as hallways and sunny meadows or something like that it will drain your sanity at 80 percent and that's it that's all it is it used to be like this really weird dynamic system where the game would like calculate how much light touches the player and based on that it would set your sanity drain to anything between 100 and zero it would be this like completely over complicated system that barely functioned in like a lot of the time it would make you drain sanity when you were completely in the light like if i was standing here it would usually it would probably drain my sanity at like 60 percent even though i'm obviously in the light so this new system where if the light's on in a room anywhere you are in that room it doesn't drain sanity it's just so much better i'm so happy with that um and i love that they just put that in a hot fix they completely changed one of the major game mechanics in the entire game and they just put it like somewhere in the patch notes like of a hot fix like what the fuck dude i don't know i guess that's the way it goes but it's so funny to me like, we completely changed the game, by the way. You might give a shit about that. Uh, let's grab a, uh, a tier 3 crucifix, because the tier 3 crucifix can actually stop the ghost from hunting. Uh, like, it can stop cursed hunts, which is the only item that can do that. The tier 2 crucifixes can't do that. Uh, I'll grab this as well. But yeah, the sanity system is, has become way more forgiving. Like, it's way easier to keep your sanity high now. But you do have to... I guess the way it works doesn't change much, right? The way it feels doesn't change much. But functionally, it's gotten much more reliable. Uh, let's use this guy. I didn't hear anything. Uh, it's right behind me. Knock on this window? No, it knock on the kitchen window? Yes, okay. It's in the kitchen. I see. Grab that. Move these guys. It turned off the breaker, not a gin. Place all of these and quickly get some maybe spear box. Where are. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I guess I'll use the Texas Beach. <laughs> this Texas Beach is actually so good. And we'll place these guys as well. Because you can spam questions like crazy. Did you... You knocked on this window and there's no thingies. Alrighty. Um, is it freezing? 
It is four degrees. I'm gonna turn on the breaker real quick. Don't wanna. Don't wanna lose all my sanity. Uh, what? It used the. I guess I used a few wishes. But it used a crucifix. Interesting. Uh, and obviously, as I said with this one, you can do the same. Is there any more wishes that I didn't already explain? Let me see. Uh. Let's pull tarot cards before we do any of that. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> fuck you. Alright, uh... So, I wish for knowledge. Everyone knows this one, right? It'll rule out what... Oh, God. It'll rule out one of the evidences in the... Um, in the book, which this also works on no evidence. It works on insanity, on nightmare, etc. Like, it works no matter what your custom difficulty setting is. It'll rule out one of the evidences, and it'll cross off all of the ghosts related to that. And you can totally believe that. It's always accurate. Uh, but it'll do some... Actually, you, I don't think you can stop the I wish for knowledge wish with the crucifix. It doesn't work. Um, I should actually save this crucifix for a cursed hunt. I'm going to move it. Is it still going to stop the hunt when it's outside of the map? Probably. Um, you have to be careful. Because it will... When you wish... Where is it? Other? It's an other... I wish for knowledge will rule out an evidence, but in return, it starts hunting the ghost. And this hunt is very special because it starts its hunt close to you. Uh, so no matter where you are, it'll start its hunt right on top of you, basically. And you will be slowed. You also will be uh, will become blind and you will become deaf. So your, comp your entire like senses get completely fucked up. Uh, but you get a little bit of information. So you really should only use this if you are uh, like at the very end of the game and you have no idea what the ghost is. Um, and it's like a desperate thing that you're trying to get at least a little bit of evidence. But I... You should basically never use it and then still plan on continuing your investigation because it becomes almost impossible to do to play the game if you have wished for knowledge. It, it completely fucks up. Also, look at the beautiful smudges that are now no longer floppy. They made the, the voodoo doll floppy, but the smudge stick is now ruined. All right, we're going to smudge here real quick at 43.15. I'll set this up over here. And then we'll try and get some more evidence. Where? Oh, whoops. Every time, man. It knocked on the window again, didn't it? Oh, I touched this door over here. Sometimes it'll give you information that's completely useless, by the way. It turned on the light. Okay, not a mare. Nice, that's useful. Definitely no fingies, though. I really want to get spirit box. I mean, probably it isn't spirit box. Then is it freezing? We don't have any evidence, right? It's, huh? Is it a Gorio? Is it EMF 5 Gorio again? Every time. You give us a sign, please. Uh, so if it's not free, let's try for writing. We're not getting lots of evidence, right? Because we have very low activity. So let's try and use this. I'll bring the, the crucifix in now because I don't want to die. All right, buddy. Here we go. You didn't do anything. Excuse me. What you have to be careful with? Uh, with the vo with the tarot cards, with the voodoo doll, is that if you get a tower card or you pull one of the pins of the voodoo doll, it'll force an interaction out of the ghost. But if the ghost is somewhere where there is no items, what the hell? Okay, dude. Uh, where there's no items, it won't do anything. So keep that in mind. Being kind of weird right now. What is just throwing this nonstop? Excuse me. When did that hunt, by the way? Did that hunt early enough for demon? What did I say? 43, 4... No, I don't think so. But definitely not a spirit, that's for sure. Um... Ah, oh, fuck. Oops. Shoot. Alright, we opened this... Oh, wait. Look at this. 
so fucked up. Let's see. Hello? Hello? Yep, look at that. Even though it was our, it was going downstairs. <laughs> Even though it was going downstairs, it still went up because I you need to keep that in mind. You might forget that. You might just use the I wish to be safe wish and then completely forget about it. You need to keep that in mind for the rest of the game. Because it'll just turn every ghost into a Dio. It's coming. Alright, stop. The on stop. Um It's a pretty crazy wish. I mean it also helps because you get a hiding spot, but man. Uh anyway, the Hmm. We're not getting any evidence at all. I feel like it should be... Oh, it should just be maybe... Maybe it's EMF choreo. But let's just get more evidence with this, I guess. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, no! Oh fuck. I it was I'm out of sanity. That was my bad. That's the risk you take with this garbage. <laughs> Come on, man. Um okay, didn't look like a phantom. We got an instant ghost event, right? We really need to just do a hunt test here. We can use the music box to get a ghost event and take a photo. Let's see if we can get it over here again. Yep, immediately. Immediately runs upstairs. <laughs> That's so cool. Actually, very interesting. Yeah, it can't be a yoga. Because on yokai, the that wish apparently doesn't work. Now, I've never tested that. I honestly, I think I've used the I wish to be safe wish about like five times ever. Because it... Like, I, I was testing with that, obviously, when the monkey paw first came out. But after that point, I've never really touched it. Uh, it doesn't apply to all people, by the way. It only applies to the player that uses it, as you said. Because that would be insanely troll, dude. <laughs> Imagine. All right, we're just going to use all the pills. My heart's going to explode. Uh, and we'll grab this guy. Anything else? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Grab that and more dots. This is a very tricky ghost. We have gotten zero evidence. We still have a lot of cursed possessions to try and get more evidence, though. Gonna, we're gonna work. Try and make it work. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Um, I should be 100% sanity. It's walking, not a wraith. I can take photos of that too. And then check for freezing again. It's still in here. It has never changed ghost room. I think we should look for dots from the truck for a second. Because I have a funny feeling. We can't use any cursed possessions out of the map. Oh, this is gonna... It should give us dots, like, instantly. With this... Or... With this much, the whole room is covered. And if it is a Gorio, it can't change ghost room. So we should get it fi fast. Let's see. Oh, boy. Look at that beautiful room. It's orbs! Wait, what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> that changes everything. Never mind then. It's not a Gorio. Uh, that's surprising. I still, I swore I checked for orbs before. It could still be dots, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. We have been, we looked for a little bit. I feel like it's probably going to be EMF or something, which in that case, it would be Raichu or it could be Obake. I think we just got to do a hunt test. Obviously, it's not a Revenant. Um, obviously, it's not a Thay. Grab the smudge sticks. We already have the lighter in there. But I guess we'll take another. And then we need to uh, <clears throat> do just some looping around here. It can't be a poltergeist. EMF would have already happened. Well, every evidence should have already happened. It's just because we're playing with really low settings. Really low evidence. Not low evidence, but low uh, activity settings. And we're supposed to use the cursed possessions to make the ghost more ac active. Uh, so what are we going to do to accomplish that? See if it's still here first. I think we're going to pull some cards. Turn off the breaker. You did not turn off the breaker. We'll light all of that. 
I have a lighter already. Arrow cards time. Whatever. Are you what the? Okay, buy sanity, I guess. Give me my sanity. You, you piece of garbage. I'm 50% again. Okay, we're 75 again. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, no, you dickhead. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. Fuck it. I'm getting trolled, dude. I'm getting trolled by the tarot cards. You son of a gun. Oh, it's stopping. Oh, devil. Hi. Singing. It can be Banshee. It's a di disco sound. I got my sanity back. Let's go. Okay. Uh, well, that didn't really work out for us. We didn't. Oh, that's there for a second. Uh, we can still. Let's wish for. Oh, but if we wish for activity, the hunt is going to be way harder. Um, so I think we should. What is a curse? We can um, just wish for. We can just do hide and seek, but I think we'll do music box real quick and then just trigger a cursed hunt. So we can at least test for onto Obake Raichu real quick. We don't have the second evidence yet, but we can always use the I wish for knowledge wish. Uh, so the way you can. Uh, trigger a hunt with this thing by the way it's just turn it on and throw it down oh fuck oh no it's crawling oh it's definitely getting faster ah oh no ah i'm gonna hide i'm gonna hide Not a Hantu, not a Raichu, not an Obake. So it's on Ryo, Yure, or Banshee, which is gonna be kind of tricky because our crucifixes are already dead. Whoopsie daisy. We can still uh, test it with candles though. Banshee will be interesting. Banshee will make a lot of sense. But what evidence will we be getting then? Let's see. Not freezing. We are not getting UV. It would be dots, right? It has to be dots then. Uh, which is a little fucked up. We shouldn't have lost much sanity there. We still got wishes, right? Uh, yeah, we still got more than enough wishes. I guess we're going to wish for activity. I wish for... Oh, or should we... Should we grab anything from outside? There's not really anything we need, right? I guess candles. Let's grab candles real quick. I mean, we'll wish for knowledge once we know uh, the last evidence here. This is this is going way better than the weekly challenge because, I mean, worse but better because the weekly challenge I don't know if they messed up the settings slightly, but it was way too easy. I was getting evidence pretty much instantly on the weekly challenge, whereas now we're actually having to work for it. Like when this used to be the weekly challenge. Light all of these. This should stop on Rios from hunting in this room. Dude, look at that. And these will never turn off. I mean, unless the ghost blows them out. Uh, let's see. We still got some smudges here, right? Yeah, we still got one smudge. I'll put it right there. And then we will... What did you just throw? It was over here. You were being very sneaky. I'm going to also grab a paramic and the last candle. I don't know if I wish for activity also increases your chance to get whispers, but that would be interesting. It obviously makes the ghosts do way more stuff overall. We'll grab the motion sensor. And we should we should have grabbed this from the very beginning. I don't know why I didn't. There's a... There's like a little dust particle on my mouse. Did you turn off the brake? No, you didn't. Alrighty. Let's see, it has blown out one of these. We'll place this in the middle of the room. The way the motion sensor works, by the way, is really cool. It'll... If the ghost steps into the circle, it'll point towards the ghost, and then it'll go idle mode. If the ghost then leaves the circle, it'll point to the ghost as well. So only it'll only point to the ghost when it enters and leaves the circle. They tested it 
with the motion sensor always pointing at the ghost, but it was far too broken. It was incredibly strong. Uh, so they ended up not shipping that to the main branch. That would have been cool. <laughs> just imagine that. You just know at all times. Like, if you place four motion sensors in the ghost room, you would just at any point know exactly where the ghost is. Be freaking broken. It is blowing out candles a lot. I think we're just gonna... Oh. It... It's blowing out a lot of candles. Maybe it is on Rio. Let's just risk for activity. I wish for activity. The door locks, the breaker breaks, and the ghost starts doing more stuff. Can you please do more stuff? I'm gonna throw some items in here. Come on, ghost. Give me a sign. I'll light this one too. What would we see for on Rio? It would be freezing, right? Not freezing. It would be freezing or spear bars. Spear box. Wait a minute. This motion. Can you please detect the ghost motion sensor? Oh, it's out there now. Or oh, wait, where? Beep 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 beep. It's here. I threw this thing. Close to the bus. What the f- Okay, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> I've been trying spirit box so many times. All right, that makes sense why it was- <laughs> Why it was blowing out the candles so much. Okay, that's a good example. If this was the- Oh, I can't leave. Well, I can leave. Uh, if I wish to leave. <laughs> um. I wish to leave, please. I wish to leave. Let me out. You get super slow and then the doors unlock um the that's a good example of even though you have the tier three spirit box that doesn't mean that you're gonna get spirit box easily because the main thing you have to keep in mind when using the spirit box is that it only works if the ghost is in the same room as you are uh if the ghost is literally one step away from you but that step crosses a room border I've been lied to. I've been lied to by CJ. <laughs> I, I fucked myself over with the wish to be safe, dude. Wait, but when I was playing with CJ, he said that that doesn't work on yokai. Okay, well, all right, never mind then. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's good though. We know we have we have tested and shown that it obviously doesn't work. Okay, so according to the devs, the wish to be safe. Uh, makes the ghost detect you wherever you are except if it's a yokai But apparently it still works even if it's a yokai because obviously it did there. So yeah, I I, I Completely ruined that game uh, by uh, <laughs> By uh, doing the the wish to be safe Early because it made I said at the time that I used the wish I was like if this is a yokai I'm ruining it <laughs> All right, anyway Ruined by listening to CJ. Hey, what else is new? Yeah, so yeah, that is, um... That is a showcase of how I wish to be safe can hurt you. Which it shouldn't. It's a bug that it does that. The yokai should not be affected by that wish. Uh, also, we haven't used the summoning circle at all yet. But yeah, you need to apparently keep that in mind. Let's uh, grab the voodoo and use some voodoo stuff. We got a boner. I'm picking that up. It doesn't really matter anyway. Alrighty. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you serious? That's so good. I saw the freezing breath and I was like, oh, this could end very poorly. And then it clicked and I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, dude. First spin Arpin. First spin Arpin is actually not very bad because it'll, after that, you know that all the pins are safe. Like, yes, it it starts to hunt as soon as you use it. But now this, now the Voodoo Door is completely safe. It doesn't seem like it's any fast ghost or something. Uh, funny. Just walking downstairs somewhere. Obviously, this is a ghost room. Can you please stop? Hello, hello. 
Yes, okay. Let's run. I should be grabbing the night vision. And then you can also use the... I need to use all the items to find the ghost room because there's obviously... Like, a lot of people... Like, everyone understands that the mirror helps you find the ghost room, obviously, because that's the only use for the mirror. Or you can also drain your sanity. That's another use for the mirror. But... As I'm showing you here, you can also use the voodoo doll to find the mirror. And you can especially use the monkey paw, or not the mirror, the ghost room. You can especially use the monkey paw to find the ghost room. Let me just bring everything in here. Because the monkey paw, if you say, I wish the ghost was trapped, it will lock you in the room that you're in. However, there's an easy way around that, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, or I, I probably won't show you this game, but I'll show you next game. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but it'll also lock the ghost in the ghost room, obviously, because that's the wish. Um, put this on. And what that means is that if you go around the map after you say, I wish that the ghost was trapped, and you find a door that's locked, boom, you found the ghost room. It's easy as that. If you find a door that's locked, that's the ghost room, because the ghost got locked in there. And that'll stay even after... It'll stay forever. It'll stay until you unlock the door. So this is especially useful on big maps where it can be really hard to find the ghost room. You can uh, you can wish for that the ghost was trapped and then... Um, and then just go around the map looking for locked doors. It's super OP. Take this as well. All right, we, we got everything. You give us a sign, buddy. I'm just going to use this guy. He's writing my book. Not doing anything, but there's also not much... How many items in here? Hmm. Maybe I should ask for more items. Because the voodoo doll might betray me here. Five degrees. What? I need to add more items. Spread them out, maybe? Like there there why are you not doing anything what this is broken dude <laughs> wait is this even the ghost room am i being lied to oh oh wait is this room uh-huh oh come the fuck on <laughs> you dickhead it's the the side room over there Hmm. Normal speed again. Let's rule out all those ghosts. Using... Uh... Had a Raichu more, a Diothay. It can, can be a Raichu, I guess, technically. Because we didn't have any electronics nearby. Oh no, I dropped something on the floor, didn't I? Bolter. It's weird that it hunted from that room when I used the voodoo doll if it isn't the ghost room. That's kind of... Oh. Can you please chill out? You saw... That's the downside of using the cursed possessions. There's two major downsides of using a cursed possession besides just like the effects of the cursed possession, which can be beneficial and bad. Oh, it turned off the breaker, you stinker. Um... I should take sanity pills. Uh, when you get a cursed or when you trigger a hunt using the cursed possession, it'll obviously do a hunt. That hunt will have a one second grace period, which the one second grace period will remain for every hunt after as well. And every hunt, including that one, will be 20 seconds longer. So on small maps, you go from a 30 second hunt to a 50 second hunt like a massive difference basically almost twice as long um the bot died oh whoops i'll i'll, I'll refix it Diddy. connect uh also my heart is i'm getting a heart attack over here we'll take all this actually let's just take the uh crucifixes in i've had enough yeah, okay. the the cursed possessions have a lot of downsides obviously that's the whole reason. The curse possession shouldn't be... Uh, they're not supposed to be OP. 
They're supposed to have ups and downs. It's in this room, right? Yeah, it's definitely in the, or it was in this room. I don't know if it is anymore, but it used to be. Let's use the voodoo doll in there. I'm not even gonna do anything because there's like no items here. I should just throw in some equipment. Like throw in the writing book and some beer. So we hopefully get something to happen. I'll, I'll, I still want to try with dots. I have a feeling it doesn't work with dots. But we'll try. Boom. It's six degrees. Interesting. Are you even in that room? What is going on with you, ghost? You're being a little tricky bastard. Best beer box. I'm still using the the text of speech, I guess. Duck, 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 duck. Can spam so fast. Uh, was this the breaker? Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that, dude? <laughs> Excuse me. That was just... I didn't even know this item could be moved, man. That's the first time I've seen this item be thrown in my entire life. What the fuck? This is a bucket. <laughs> Since when is that item movable? What? The hell? Okay, it's in this room now. We're getting another crazy Romy ghost, unfortunately. We could wish the ghost was trapped, but then we can't be in the ghost. Well, I guess we could stay in the ghost room while we wish it to be trapped, but that would be really stupid. Um, I'm moving these. Please stay in this room, sir. I need you... Wait, did the bot just die completely? Oh, I can't do the bot right now. The bot is dead until... Yeah, yeah, it's dead. I'll, I can restart it completely, but I don't think it's going to fix it. It's... it's. Okay, I need to do some update or whatever. Uh, I think it's writing in the book. Wait, it's writing in the book. Easy peasy. That is so... You can hear that so clearly. Uh, I didn't even get to use my cur my curse possession to cause that. But you can do that, by the way. If you use like a voodoo doll, it can trigger uh, writing as well, which is super useful. It's just a question if it also can trigger uh, dots. Because that was really useful before the update, and I don't know if it is anymore. Quickly get this. It's crazy how we're getting evidence still, even though it's the lowest possible activity setting. Like this is ghost interactions as well as ghost events on the lowest possible setting. Let's uh, just go voodoo mode. Voodoo doo doo mode. And I'm gonna stand over here in the dots. Through it. M3. Uh, that's an example of nothing happening, I think. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Oh. M5? M5! Look at that! Voodoo doll value, baby! <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, we got writing, we got M5. Spirit, shade, or miling. Nice. Voodoo, the voodoo doll is insane, I'm telling you. It's like... Oh, God. With the... Oh, fuck. It's something, right? With the uh, tier 3 crucifixes, I'm genuinely telling you, the voodoo doll is like... Maybe the best curse... Well, the monkey paw always is the best curse possession, but the voodoo doll is just useful in so many ways. Um, because it can trigger activity without being risky. Because you can just place a tier 3 crucifix in the ghost room, spam the voodoo doll. If you get the harp pin, it'll be stopped by the crucifix. I mean, obviously, we don't have the harp pin anymore because it's gone. Uh, is it finally? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, then. All right. Just smiling. You heard how quiet that was. Very sneaky ghost. Uh, so it's a miling, which is nice because then we don't have to test for spirit or shade. And you could 
Will I die for this? I might die for this, but I'm willing to do it. Like, if let's say that you were very... You didn't know what this ghost was, right? Um, for whatever reason, you could use the monkey paw to wish for knowledge and then hopefully make a deciding... I'm gonna fucking die out here. That's shit. <laughs> That's a good example of how it can also fuck you over completely because it didn't do anything. <laughs> so that's the problem with the monkey paw is that it rules out a random evidence, not like an evidence that ha that will be useful to you. So in this situation, it ruled out one of the only evidences that was impossible. Uh, so yeah, that is completely useless. Oh, it's that is not what makes the monkey paw strong. The monkey paw is not strong because I wish for knowledge. The monkey paw is strong because you can fight the ghost room with it. You can get a, uh, a you can take the ghost photo with it. You can get hunts with it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Because what's really cool about using the if you wish for sanity, it'll put your sanity at fifty, right? Which means that very quickly after that, every ghost can hunt. However, this hunt is technically not caused by the cursed possession, so. Wishing for sanity doesn't trigger cursed hunts. So you can keep going after that with very short hunts and a long grace period. I should be safe now, but I can't see any fucking thing. The head cam in this situation is so useful. Like without the head cam, look at this. Without the head cam, it's com... <laughs> I... Like obviously this wish is meant to be really punishing. But it just, it's so punishing to the point that they might as well just not. I mean, I'm happy it exists, I guess, but like, I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. The, the, the night vision goggles definitely help out. Like, I almost feel like that the night vision goggles are kind of broken with this. Because they completely counteract the, the blindness. The night, it makes the night vision look better. Uh, and often you won't even get anything Welcome useful back. out of it. But regardless, let's find the ghost room with the, um, with the monkey paw this time. It depends on what the ghost room is. Sometimes you have a ghost room that you can't detect this way. Uh, let's see, George Wilson. I'll just go in there. So, the wish for the, that the ghost was trapped does two things. It'll trap the ghost and it'll, well, just three things. It'll trap the ghost, it'll trap oh. you, and after oh. 60 seconds, the ghost will hunt. Which, it's very, I don't know if this, I think the way I use the monkey paw is technically a bug, but they're gonna have to fix it. Because I've shown this like a hundred times before and they never fix it so what the fuck am i supposed to do like it's not like i've called this out as a, as a probable bug from the very beginning basically if i were to wish that the ghost was trapped in this room it would lock this door and i would be stuck here for 60 seconds until the door unlocks and the ghost starts hunting um however if i use it in a room that doesn't have doors such as this one if i then wish to trap the ghost it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't lock the door. It doesn't lock this, like, in, it doesn't make like an invisible wall or something. So you completely counteract the major downside of the, the I wish the ghost was trapped wish. And you can still find the ghost room easily. But boo, thank you for the 53 months. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute. Is it in the basement? I guess it's in the basement because if it was this hallway, that door would close too, right? But yeah, this is how you find the ghost room with the monkey paw. It is insanely broken. You you wish for that the ghost was trapped. And then on top of that, you don't even have to get the hunt because if you leave the house before the 60 seconds are over and then the 60 seconds run out as you are outside of the map, it won't even hunt. I, I kind of wanted to hunt, so hopefully that was in time to be... Maybe? Is this door still locked? Yeah, it's still gonna hunt because I kind of want to check for some ghosts. Yeah, so it hunts after 60 seconds, you see? So this is not demon or anything. It's just a regular hunt. But if I was outside during that, it wouldn't have done anything. It is in the basement. Okay. 
Hi, buddy. How you doing? I'm not a phantom, not an oni. Not a phantom, not an oni. Probably not an obake. Oh god, I'm gonna have to smudge. Run! Uh, now, obviously, this vault. Tr this should trigger cursed hunts, right? Wait. I think it's also bugged. I think the trapped wish is bugged in so many ways. I think it doesn't even trigger cursed hunts. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid. Uh, so yeah. I think the monkey paw is like totally, it's, it's relatively balanced. It's just that there's a few bugs that make it like way too strong. Um, and they should just fix those bugs. They don't have to necessarily nerf the, the monkey paw. They just need to fix it from bugging out. Is this also locked? This is also locked. Interesting. So yeah, it's definitely down in the basement. Um, yeah, that was a sh that was not a cursed hunt. It's it's in here. We need to to really grab my my night vision. Sakura, thank you for the eleven and chunky. Thank you for the sixteen. Grab that and just set up down there because before we set up, obviously using the cursed possession doesn't do much. Karma, thank you for the twelve. This is a very bad ghost room. Especially if the ghost roams out of it and then hunts like upstairs. You're just stuck in a cage, basically. Was it? That is Orbeez. Okay, we got Orbeez. Uh, that That's just regular Ema. They're changing the dots, by the way. They're making it so that you can click on it to pause it. So it stops moving. So in this case, I would want to pause it right here. I would want to pause it instead of making it go all the way from, from left to right. Because it covers way less ground that way. Um, that's nice. Let's get all of this. If have to ask the ghost to write in the book. I mean, the ghost will just randomly write in the book. I think you can say write in the book, but I don't think it does too much. I people used to think that there was like this huge way you could influence the ghost by you can say like the way the game works is that if you say like I wish for I wish or uh, give me a sign or something there's like a slight chance increase for a little bit of the ghost doing something but it's in no way shape or form like a way to force activity like it doesn't like if a ghost doesn't isn't active it's not gonna help I mean, sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. I'm going to grab the crucifixes as well as the voodoo doll now. Um, yeah, I think the main issue with like stuff can be a huge coincidence. Like you, you can say like, I wish for activity and get a ghost event immediately. And you think you're a ghost whisperer, but it's just like just randomly happened. Uh, show us was a good example of it being like what it would look like if you could force the ghost to do something anytime you wanted it But that was obviously a bug. Okay, this in here place the other writing book in this room Also, I have a summoning circle which we could use for fun And we can even stop the hunt with a crucifix. Oh, hi there Not a uh, phantom so it doesn't really matter Where is it? Is it, it's in there, right? What? Isn't that the ghost? Oh, there you go. Uh, you can't take it through the... Through the shelf, I guess. As in... Or Kez Industries. Thank you for the sub. And welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's grab... Monk... Wait... The Voodoo Doll from over here. Hey, how are you doing, by the way, Papu? What's was the interaction? What do you mean? It did a uh, the interaction was the ghost event. What the fuck? Or voodoo doll? Dude. Ah! Help! 
fucking brutal, dude. Holy shit, he's panicking. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> this is fucked up. What the fuck? Dude, look at his face. It gets all stretched and fucked up. <laughs> oh my god, this is haunted. Alright, anyway. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, we don't have. Do we have freezing? We need to get evidence. It's, it's could be spare box, obviously. You both. Come on. We could change it back at this point, right? People understand that you can do this. Uh, okay. Um, let's just get an activity. They threw something back there. EMF three. Okay. We already saw orb, so that's not it. Place this over here, I guess. Kind of hard to put uh, the dots in these rooms. Didn't do anything. Oh, it touched the door because your fingies. Amazing. Let's go. It already touched it before. Okay. So we have potential mimic here, but I don't think so. Could be Obake. Wait a minute. Can we force Obake fingies? Oh. All right, then that works. <laughs> Please touch it again. Ah, it's not gonna work. It's not there. Just beepity beepity beeping. You would see freezing if it's a mimic. You see how good? I think the tier three crucifixes, like, uh, what, what is the meme? Tell me a better d couple or better duo. The tier three crucifix and the voodoo doll all late because they're i think they're made for each other like the, the voodoo doll is very risky because if you use the voodoo doll in the ghost room yes you will get activity but one of them will name a better duo yeah one of them will trigger a uh hunt right on top of you which is stupid as fuck oh god Wait, can you hunt them? Which made the voodoo doll an incredibly useless tool most of the time because you couldn't use it to really get activity Since when you did you ran the risk of just killing yourself, but now with the with the uh, Tier 3 crucifix that is no longer a problem Can you please touch the door? Still fingerprints. Oh Oh my god Ouch my ears Ah, uh, shit. Nah, I don't think it's Obake. It can't be a Haunter, so it's just a Banshee. Oh, come on. It's just a Banshee? It's like it can't be a Haunter because there's no freezing. I need a map tier list. I could do that again. Take some pills. Just all of them, I guess. Just put me back at 100. And I'll... You got all objectives, everything. I don't even want the slow salt. Um, why not Obake? Because it's not leaving. It's not. Uh, it always leaves fingerprints, but Obake has a 25% uh, chance to not leave fingerprints. Um, and it never leaves the Obake thingy. Oh, it's just a door again. See, every time it leaves a fingerprint. I think this is just a banshee. Now the question, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Very important science happening here. What if we wish, use the monkey paw, uh, which we dropped over here, to wish for activity. Does that also increase your chance of getting whispers? I assume not, but it's worth the try. I wish for activity. See? Maybe! <laughs> Excuse me? Instant whisper? Come on, do it again. You. Alright, two whispers during the whole thing. It didn't scream though, which is kind of weird. I just kind of want to hear Banshee scream again. Come on, give it to us. Three? What the fuck? It's like. Wait. It. We saw orbs, we saw fingies, 
it's either the most non-screamy banshee or it's the most non-fingy or it's the most fingerprints i've ever seen out of a nobake no because it wasn't wait we looped it before right didn't we or am i confusing my games here didn't we loop it and it wasn't a bit obake why is it not screaming maybe it's a mimic after all it's two degrees i don't think so maybe spirit box where are you are you here are you close are you friendly where are you where are you are you here are you close are you friendly are you french where are you are you here i think it's just got to be paramic but it just these these things by the way are insane oh, hi there oh wait i'm dying wait i thought it was just wait no it's not wait huh wait never mind it wasn't a i swear it was a ghost event but then it looked so Okay, never mind. I get fucking scared shitless wet. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is actually messed up. We've been here for so long. I think we're just gonna trigger with the tarot cards or something. Like, I've been sitting here for like five minutes straight. And it done. it's done three scream or three whispers, but never a scream for some reason. I guess we just test for Obake. And if it ends up not being an Obake. Like, if we loop it for a whole hunt, uh, and it doesn't shapeshift, we know it's a banshee. I'll grab the... Oh, hi there. It's singing again. I think this is totally a banshee. Uh, I can't... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna set this up, because we broke the breaker with the activity wish. So we're gonna have to make our own disco, our own light show here we can see and then it was tarot card time oh uh juice the chrysrix for the last time you could hear that Alrighty. i need this we only have two smudge sticks i think i want that last smudge stick from down here Alrighty, buddy it's not always a banshee if it sings. No, 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 no. Don't get, don't get it twisted. Also, have you seen this? But they, oh, they fixed it. Oh no, they didn't. Wait, no, they did. They totally did. Wait, what? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Wait, huh? I'm so confused. Why isn't it working, dude? Okay, there we go. Why didn't my? My smudge stick light there, that almost killed me. Okay. It's definitely not an Obake, obviously. Okay, run away. <laughs> I'm so fucking So you can't press F on a smudge stick that's placed on the ground. That almost killed me there. Because I was trying to place pre press F on it, but you have to... It's so stupid. Because a lot of people don't even know that that works because it's a bug. It's not supposed to work that way. Oh, fuck. Um, you have to click on it with the left mouse button, which is, uh, which is simply a bug. Like, it, and it doesn't work for, like, look, and this, this one doesn't work, right? Oh, no, it does work. So you can turn things on by either pressing F, that's F, or no F, you just click on it left click so but for the smudge stick for whatever reason you cannot uh turn it on with f you have to click it you have to press the left mouse button uh, it has to be a banshee that just gave us three whispers in a row for some reason um but i think what happened here by the way i think i think i have uh discovered why the the smudge sticks are broken now it has nothing to do it was a banshee unbelievable um look how many times it did its ability by the way a casual 43 fucking times like come on man no, no way um which maps have we not done we've not done bleach still uh it has nothing to do with them wanting to 
like fix maybe it has something to do with them wanting to fix the crouch bug but i think they mostly wanted to fix the the following bug where you can i'll just pick this up real quick uh pick this and that remember when the update first came out you could place the smudge stick on walls and it'll just oh my god i forgot the key <laughs> no I was so focused on placing the smudge thing. The walk of shame, no. Let me just, I'm gonna forget all about that. That never happened. So, oh fuck, of course. Um, You could place it on stuff like this. Wait, can I still do that? No, wait, what? They've made it so much more annoying now. Like, before they did the hotfix, you could place it on curtains and stuff. Like I could press F on this curtain and it would just like suction itself to the curtain and just sit there like anti-gravity mode. But they apparently, you can't place it on curtains anymore. And additionally, they also gave it gravity. Wait, did they? Wait, huh? Yeah, look, it falls over now. It no longer just like sits still. It actually falls now <laughs> upside down, but it's so weird that they bugged out the The like, I don't know. They bugged out the swinging effect. Anyway, let's uh I guess we'll just grab the monkey paw and do the same thing again. Well, we'll grab the, the, the mirror this time. We haven't used the mirror yet. Obviously, everyone knows you can use the mirror to find the ghost room, but it's in the workshop. You just you pull it up for if you pull it up, it'll drain your sanity by 20 instantly. And then every second afterwards, you hold it, we'll drop it by an additional seven. Or wait a minute. Yeah, right? Uh, no, no, no. I think they fixed that. Didn't they fix that? The way it works, if it was working as intended, which uh, I can't check it right now because I don't have the sanity screen. But the way it's supposed to work is that if you pull up the, sa the, the mirror, it'll drain your sanity by 20. And then... Uh, it won't start draining your sanity for a few seconds. So basically, it's like a it's like a it's like a formula. The formula is it's either 20 sanity flat or it's seven and a half sanity per seconds, whichever of the numbers is bigger. If you pull up the mirror for a long time, um, which means like you you pull it up for longer than three seconds, you will drain another seven and a half sanity per second but if you just pull it up and immediately pull it down it'll instantly drain 20. uh so it like incentivizes you to hold up the mirror for a little longer which i never do because i instantly know what room it is so there's no point in me the holding it up for longer uh, but that's the intention behind that change now it used to be bugged so i don't know if it still is but i think they they tried to fix it a while ago so i'm assuming it's no longer bugged it's in here or at least it is in here for now so if it ever changes ghost room we know it's not agoria which is always nice does it break no it does yeah uh, yes i think so if you pull it up while you have less than 20 percent sanity i think it instantly breaks i think so or maybe it sets your sanity to zero and then breaks after a second or something. Either way, it's a bad idea. <laughs> you prestige and you lost your night vision goggles. Yeah. I mean, maybe in, in the future, they're going to add customization. And then every time you prestige, you get uh, like special skins, which is going to make it much more interesting to prestige because right now it doesn't do much. It's three degrees in here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Hmm. If it's still here, that that's the main question. But not orbs. All right, let's grab Voodoo. You know the drill by now. It's Voodoo time. This is this is this is, seems Disco seems to be adhering to the spirit of the challenge where the challenge is supposed to be uh make the ghost do stuff by using the cursed possession challenge because 
the, all the settings are set to the absolute lowest possible. Um, so we'll grab this. We'll grab another one. And we'll grab a lighter, I guess. Um, you won't prestige until it becomes worthwhile. It's just like, uh, for fun. Like, if you want to start over and start from level one, that's the only reason to prestige. There's no reason. There's no... There's And there's literally no other reason. Someone might say there's bragging right reasons. No, there's not. There's no bragging rights because uh, prestige is meaningless. Like, there could be someone that has level 10 prestige and the way they got it is by playing, like, uh, I don't know, 10,000 games of professional, which would be insane. That would be very really impressive. Or maybe 10,000 games of Nightmare Mode. That would be really impressive. Or it could be someone who did like 500, no, not 500, but who did like uh, a fraction of that amount of games on like some super cheesy difficulty and got the ghost correct 50% of the time. And the other 50% of the time they just guessed. Like there is, there is no knowing how someone achieved the prestige level that they have. So it's just completely meaningless. <laughs> Like there is no no bragging rights involved in it. Also, look at this shit. That's so good. Oh, poor Voodoo doll, dude. <laughs> they, this definitely wasn't like this. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> this definitely was. This is my new favorite thing, dude. Holy shit. The voodoo door is hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, it didn't use the crucifix yet. Turn this out. Is it broken? It did something. Threw something over there. What? Like, I don't get it. Why does the voodoo door so often fail? Oh, there! Now it threw something. How how was it not in range of something before? That just doesn't make any sense to me. Is this room has so many items in it? There's no way it could stand somewhere where it couldn't interact with an item. I just don't believe it. Let's try a spirit box here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Mm, I don't know. Fram minus four degrees. Nice. We got freezing. Okay, get some more. Please give me writing. What? What? Wait, did I just force a demon to use its ability? What? Excuse me? Is that what happened? <laughs> what? Maybe, I'm not, I'm not sure. I guess I used the mirror earlier. It was just a coincidence. Okay, that was because I used the thing. Wink. It's like, definitely not EMF 5, right? If this is EMF 5, I'm gonna lose my mind. Didn't I use the... No, I didn't use sanity pills yet, did I? Did they fix the sanity pills yet? Wait, let's test. So the way... The sanity pills are supposed to... Fill your sprint bar up the max and then give you infinite sprint for a few seconds. Uh, but it didn't used to work like that. Let's check. If I run out of sprint and then use it, it doesn't give me sprint still. Yeah, that's still broken. But as soon as my sprint regens, now it's infinite. Which is not supposed to work that way. It's supposed to uh, regen your stamina instantly, which it didn't do there. So that's definitely still broken. All right, just pick all of them, whatever. Uh, I'll take this. Already had a lighter in there, right? I don't know. I could take dots. It might just be... It can't be a Gorio, luckily. We should just get a hunt, probably. Maybe do a tarot card roulette shenanigans. I really want to get a high priestess. I think I do a thank you for the 14. The high priestess is amazing. 
Did you run the book yet? You're a piece of garbage, you know that? A piece of shithole. And all ghost event, not an Oni. Pro also another shade because I just increased my sanity to 100%. So it can't have been a shade. It, I need to turn on the breaker as well. Let's just quickly go upstairs or grab the tarot cards, turn on the breaker. Alrighty, uh, let's see. So we have some much sticks here. And I guess we're just starting to pull, pull cards. There's only a 2% chance for High Priestess, so very unlikely. I could wish to be, you know what? You know what? We can grab the monkey paw real quick, wish to be safe, and then hide in the... I think that's a bad idea, actually. Because the gray spirit is only going to be one second, so I'm probably not going to be fast enough anyway. Oh, hi there. Let's see you. EMF4. We only have freezing. Is it orbs now or something? Sometimes you have delayed orbs. No. We try spirit box real quick. Oh, it's a ghost event, right? Oh no, I'm dead. Wait, what? Uh, why was the door closed then? I could, oh no, I could open it. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Wait, already? Wait, you did two ghost events and my sanity is low enough for you to hunt? You are a demon, aren't you? Excuse me? Wait, that would mean, oh, it's gonna be UV, of course. Wait, it's actually a demon? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, of course you are. Wait, what the fuck? It's not a mimic because no Orbeez. Uh, this is fucking weird, dude. Oh, God. Check for Jin. Come over here. Wait, no, it's a Jin. It's a gin. Okay. Right? Oh, it's super fast. Though. Interesting. Oh, and it just used the gin ability. <laughs> of course. That's why my sanity was low. Damn. What a. This is why. I, like, I love Phasma because not only is it like a puzzle, but I also like these moments where everything clicks. Like, when you finally figure out what ghost type it is and suddenly everything makes sense. I love those moments. <laughs> so yeah, it was just using the Jin hidden ability to drain my sanity. We'll have to see in the in the settings how often, or in the stats, how often it used it. Uh, but I, at least once here. There's a bug that when you press the keyboard to leave, and if you place anything back to its place, the hand stays. Yeah, yeah, that's been a bug since the dawn of time, but we should definitely, uh, I'll show you. If you do this and then you place something, it, it only works in multiplayer, I think. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, huh? It's flashing? The fuck was that? Wait, does it not work on that one? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Help! My hand! <laughs> it's so funny. The flashing smudge stick. You can place your hand on the wall. There you go. It was a gin. How often did you use your ability, sir? You used it. Zero times? What? Wait, it did two ghost events. It's, huh? I'm so confused. All right, I guess it didn't do it. Never mind, then. I guess I, I guess I just had a very, very aggressive hunter. Uh, it must have been like right at 49% or something. And then it hunts. Because I took four adrenaline shots straight to the heart. And which makes my sanity 100%. Then it did two ghost events and it immediately used the crucifix. So, I don't know. The gin ability just drains your sanity by 25. That's all. That's all it does. It isn't very special. Okay, buddy. I'm using tarot cards to find the ghost this time. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> That's one of those fucking, like, 
like pause the pause the game to be continued moments right there oh no <laughs> what the fuck all right it's definitely not a not a shade yeah we'll be right back <laughs> had death card right as the ghost was on top of me after doing a ghost event it was at this moment he knew he fucked up unlucky cards i circled shade no i didn't i just clicked so fast you didn't see it it happens to the best of us all right well uh that was interesting <laughs> let's turn on the breaker first before we do anything more stupid no it's not down there are you a wraith Excuse me, are you stalking me? Are you banshee? What the fuck is going on? It's like everywhere I go this ghost follows This is like actually amazing. They better never fix this if they ever fix this. I'm going to be so mad This is so fucking funny <laughs> Like especially you can't do that on this <laughs> Fucking neck, dude. The insane neck. Ah! Oh my god, dude. How far does it go? <laughs> dude. It just... I, it never gets old. Anyway. Uh, what am I doing? It's here. Wait a minute. MF. Okay, I get maybe it's literally just in the dining here and I didn't have a weird ghost. Little big planet guy. The immortal, thank you for the five. What the hell, man? Alright, anyway. Let's see? We. Dude, what the fuck is going on with my mouse? It keeps. Stop, it keeps stopping the work. Um. Alright, we just need to check for freezing now because we place the or we turn on the breaker. Iron? Not really. I mean, I was I streamed for a while. I'm mostly hungry because <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. My sushi, my sushi, it's gonna be delicious. I'm mostly just like burning, burning alive. Because it's so unbearable here. It's 33 degrees in my room. That shit's unacceptable. It, where is this guy? Or little ghost? Let's just check the ghost room. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, actually that makes sense. I see that be possible. I think that's possible. It might not even be a Wraith or Banshee. This this room is close to everything that happened. Not orbs. 33C? No, it's 33F. I'm freezing. Of course it's C. Imagine. I wouldn't complain if it was 33C. Oh, God. All right. Oh, you sack of garbage. <laughs> You piece of garbage. All right, buddy. Uh, I need to grab a... Oh, wait, I could have tried this. Where are you? Are you here? I'm too late. I'm too late. We need to get another ghost event. Could you tech... You could technically get spirit box during the mu music box event, <laughs> which would be insanely risky. But it's technically possible. Yeah, my new house is AC. I can't wait. It takes forever before I can move in, though. Because not only do I have to wait till December before I even get the keys, I also have to, like, buy furniture, obviously. Because I don't have any furniture. This is annoying as hell. What a shitty ass ghost room. It's still in there. I'm gonna just take sanity pills real quick. You bought a house? Yes, I did. The Ikea stream. We're gonna do an Ikea stream. <laughs> chat, chat, 
decides my furniture challenge difficulty level impossible difficulty level pink chairs <laughs> all right here we go i'm i only need one race car bed <laughs> race car bed let's go that'd be so stupid <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're not, you're not buying my furniture. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, are you going to go back to the ghost room? Asmo IRL. My house is some really creepy places. My, I think my house is like, there's at least two different ways into the crawl space and they're like disconnected from each other. And I have a basement. So it's haunted for sure. It's gonna be haunted. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, it's even five. Let's go. The voodoo doll strikes again. And it's not fingerprints. I'm gonna get a basement ghost. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? I don't know if it's, it could be spare box, but it's hard to say. Dots is like utterly impossible with the shitty ass ghost room. Not doing anything. Did it knock something? Is it still here? Seven degrees. That shows you how it's just like basically constantly roaming. It's colder in here than in there. Did you knock on the window then? It beeped. It is still touching this door though. Tarot card time. I'm for madness. I'm to die. Do I have my, uh, I don't have my lighter. Yeah, I also have uh, fiber uh, internet, so that should be nice. Don't do a piece of garbage. Wait, this is gonna, Excuse me, it didn't do anything? Give me five. There, singing ghost event. Let me actually take the ghost photo properly so this time. Bye. This is the worst ghost of all time, by the way. Sun, my sanity. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. Uh, it works. <laughs> Not that I, that's kind of annoying, honestly. Oh, wait, what? Oh, hi. Wait, this light is broken? Oh, yeah, I broke it. That's so annoying. Spear box? Yeah, let's try spear box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? I don't think so. Dude, what are these? Wait, did I even? I didn't even place the writing book. I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> the crawly dots. All right. Well, it's not a Gorio. It's a Wraith. Oni would be. Oh, hi. I think it might be an Oni. This this would explain everything, huh? Because it immediately did a ghost event as soon as we stepped into the map. What's the range on the spirit box? It says it in the store. I don't remember. You should just be as close to the ghost as possible. Uh, let's try this for Wraith. We'll grab all of these. Freaking broken smudge. Can you play this on a Mac? I don't know. Can you play this on a Mac? I have never heard of anyone doing so, but maybe. All right, buddy. You are not a Wraith. Uh, you're definitely an Oni. If you're a Raichu, I am going to regret my words and my deeds. Where is the smudge? Or the... Is there more tarot cards? I have no more tarot cards. Oh, it's voodoo time. I swear I had like one more. Maybe under here? No. All right, whatever. Here we go. Oh. Okay. 
it's just an Oni. <laughs> Run! Oh my god, I almost died there. It should be an Oni because it's definitely not a, uh, a Raichu. Uh, this is not fast. And we saw the dot, so it can't be a Gorio. Oni it is. Dude, curse possessions are fun as fuck, man. <laughs> like, I... What is your favorite curse possession? I, I I think in terms of usefulness, I think my the voodoo genuinely is my favorite. Because I love it to find the ghost room. I love it to get activity. But tarot cards, yeah. Tarot cards are just... If you play a lot of multiplayer, tarot cards are so fun. Because the problem with having tarot cards single player is that... Um, can I do this, by the way? Wait one second. Is this gonna kill me? Walk with me! Did the ghost come outside there for a second? <laughs> Did I get the ghost out of the map? Uh, anyway, uh, the, the advantage of doing it in multiplayer is that if you like do tarot card roulette and you like uh, rotate who is using the tarot cards, there's only a one in four chance that you get hit by the hanged man card because the problem with using it single player is that every time you use the cards if you use all of them there's a 10 percent chance that you just die because there's a one percent chance for each of the cards to be the hanged man so there's a pretty decent chance that you just get killed that's not exactly how probability works but you get what i'm saying um it doesn't add up like that but yeah it can it can be a real a real bummer if you just get killed on the first cart. But yeah, tarot cards are super fun. Mirror is extremely useful. Are tarot cards overrated. I mean, I don't think people that like tarot card. No one that is like tarot cards are my favorite item is like tarot cards are broken, dude. They need to nerf that. I mean, especially people that say it's their favorite item. But no, no one that knows anything about this game would say that tarot cards are the best item. Tarot cards whoop, like, tarot cards would be the best item if you could choose which card. Like, obviously, if you could choose at any point a sun card or a death card, which that's kind of what the monkey paw is. The monkey paw is kind of like, obviously not entirely, but it's kind of like having tarot cards where you can decide what they do. It just like makes, that's what makes monkey paw the strongest. But yeah, voodoo doll is insanely useful. Like even now that I have the mirror, I'm still uh, gravitating towards using the voodoo doll to find the ghost. I don't know. Ah, shit. All right, that's a bit unlucky. <laughs> that's the second time today. You dickhead. Okay, it's not an Oni. Check for Yokai. Oh, wait, it's a Raichu. Oh, easiest game of my life. You hear how that suddenly it gets super fast? <laughs> All right, well, easy peasy. I mean, that was technically the voodoo doll helped me out to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't, couldn't have done it without you. No evidence speed run. Thank you, voodoo buddy. What if you use this? What if you use this during a hunt? Oh, did it make it touch that door right at the end there? Uh, I'm using a tarot card. By the way, you can cheese the tarot cards by doing this. I mean, it'll still kill you if it's a hanged man, but if it's a death card, <laughs> it won't do anything. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the, for the example. I appreciate it. Lol. Medieval. Thank you for the 19. What a fucking call. I mean, this could obviously be Mimic, but I hope not. Perfect demonstration. What a teamwork. There you go. It was a ratchet. All right. One more game. One more game for all the marbles on Tanglewood, where we are going to start the game by running in and pulling all the tarot cards, because that's fun as hell. Here we go, baby. It's tarot time. Uh, I should grab a smudge, though. 
if I'm gonna do something like that. Oh boy. I, I might, I might, people kept asking for Starfield, strangely enough. I could do a, like a, if I ever have time to do like a extra long stream, I might do Starfield randomly one day. We'll see. Looks fun. It's just, uh, it's just not horror. So it doesn't really work. Star snooze. Yeah, I. I heard Starfield is very divisive, mostly just people that enjoy Starfield. Yeah. The whole pronoun shit, like, people must be trolling or they're actually the most pathetic human beings of all time. Like, if that upsets you, you are not, you are the softest human being I have ever seen in my entire life. But it's probably, that's that has to be fake outrage. But there's also people that are just like not impressed by the game itself. Those, those are the people that uh, oh, it's freezing in here. Wait, what? Wait, is it? Is it in this room? I found it. Never mind. Um, like there's people that have genuine like fair criticism of the game. Like apparently the planets are like really empty. Okay, nothing is happening. In the basement. Not doing anything. The nice part about the tarot cards is that it doesn't necessarily drain your sanity, depend uh, only, unless you get a moon card or something, which is really nice. Takes over a hundred hours to get good at Starfield. What do you mean? Uh, my tower cards are broken. Excuse me. Oh fuck! Oh god! <laughs> Every time you dickhead. It is in here, isn't it? It's freezing. Are you a shade? Wait a minute. I just got five tower cards. Nothing happened, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I got super scammed. What the hell? <laughs> What? What the fuck? Why? Tower tarot cards. What is this betrayal, dude? What did you just throw? Oh. It didn't work at all. I'm I'm telling you the tower cards are broken. It's just in the Yeah, it is in the dining. Okay, maybe it is a shade. It could be shit. Let's just set up the writing book and the EMF. Is when we, this is something that happened when I was playing with with CJ and Psycho. Um, let's grab this, grab this. And also this, I think for shade freezing. Where we were in the ghost room and we used the voodoo doll and it just didn't do anything. Billy, thank you for the seven. I have played GTFO. Nine. Three, wait, huh? But that was the ghost room, but this is, Hmm. Hmm. Right, here we go. Do not kill me, please. I don't have a crucifix, so this could end badly. Number three. Three again. <laughs> Dude, the freaking incredible. I need to wait for the EMF to disappear. It threw the same item three times. Beep deep. Beep deep. All right. Are you kidding me? Again? It's gonna do harpoon next. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Which door? This door. I need to get UV. Go 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 go. I don't know. I think the tower cards just don't work too well. Uh, because the the voodoo doll is working just fine. I don't know why the tower cards didn't do anything. That is very strange. Maybe just got bugged out. What are the tower cards supposed to do? They're supposed to do the exact same thing as the voodoo doll. They're just supposed to trigger an interaction. But they're not doing that. Alright, 
check for thingies. It is thingy, so no shade. It's just bugged, I guess. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Still cold in there? Still cold in there. Uh, next time, next curse possession check again. It is still the ghost room, is still that room instead. Interesting. So if you say, I wish the ghost was trapped in this situation, it'll just do nothing because there's no doors attached to that room. So that's a good example of when that bug can hurt you as well. I mean, it's not necessarily a bug. I think what should happen if you wish that the ghost was trapped is that if you are not in a room that can lock you in, it should instead uh, just lock the front door. Like it's such a simple fix, like, because the whole re you're supposed to be trapped with the ghost. That's the idea of the wish, but it doesn't do that. Like it's the easiest fix of all time. Right there, buddy. Turn off this light. And then, I mean, I guess I'll place it here. Wait, I can't place it on that. That was a pretty impressive throw. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to get EMA 5. Nah. Damn, dude. Where are you? Are you right here? here. Okay. <laughs> right here, indeed. We got Phantom Poltergeist Mimic. I don't think it's a Mimic. It's a f it could be a Poltergeist. Wait a minute. Finally. How is this a Poltergeist? How did a Poltergeist not do anything for... Like four tower cards in a row. That is just ridiculous. Please. It's gonna be tornado time. Mimic. I mean, I checked for Orbeez before. We can check for Orbeez again. I'm definitely also gonna add these guys. Hawk tornado. Boom and boom. Let's see. Is there orbs? There are no orbs. No orbies. Alright then, here we go. I have one smudge. That's it. Ah, it's a pretty good throw. I want more. I want more smudges. Because this is obviously going to be a, a polter. And I want to have it, like, stunned for the whole hunt. There's no more cock in this map, I think. There's, uh... I don't know what... Because the tower cards obviously work sometimes. But... They also fail, like, quite often. And I don't know why they fail. It's just... That would be something that the devs have to look into. That's not something I can do. Ah, uh, big throw. Big throw. Oh, come on. Fuck, I forgot that I had that crucifix there. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, here we go. M music box time. Is that going to turn off the light? Wait a minute. Oh, not if I throw it on the ground. But that could kill me. Oh, fuck. Hi. Here we go. Polter time! Wait, it's not a poltergeist? Wait, this is a phantom! You're so boring! It's throwing a lot now. Fucking boring. Look at the stun though. It's stun locked. <laughs> Get absolutely stun locked. Still going because the curse hunt. That's 20 seconds of it just being completely stuck. It's thrown quite a bit, but it's definitely no polter. It didn't even throw the cock. Unacceptable, ghost. Alrighty, that is gonna be a phantom. Tarot cards are, or the curse possessions are incredible. Fine, like, 
I think the most important use for the cursed possessions that you should like I tried to give you a little bit of a guide here as well on how to use them. The most important thing you need to know is finding the ghost room. You can find the ghost room with almost every cursed possessions. The ones you can't, the ones we didn't even use this round is the summoning circle. The summoning circle doesn't really help you much, but you can find it with the monkey paw. You can find it with the voodoo doll. You can find it with the mirror, obviously. You can find it with the board, but it's pretty risky. Um, you can even find it with the tarot cards if you get a, a, a tower card. But so those things, especially the monkey paw one, is just really, really useful to know. Uh, did it do any teleporting abilities? It didn't do it ever. Um, you can see the. Can't you see the the cursed possessions in this, in the book here? Items, cursed possessions here. You can also read about them. By the way, you might not even know about that. You can see all the wishes. Uh, actually, you won't see this. Um, I don't think this will show up for you if you start out playing the game. The way you unlock the wishes in the book right here is by going to Sunny Meadows and then looking around the map for these little things. Uh, these little like cards that are attached to the... You see on the, on the monkey paw, there are these cards. You can find cards like this on Sunny Meadows. And every time you find one, there's a wish on there and it'll show up in your book from that point onwards. Or as I said, you can literally just use the text to speech, which is a way easier way to learn what the wishes are. Um, Voodoo Doll is incredible at finding the ghost room. Um, the mirror, obviously tarot cards can be real Mimi. We didn't get a hanged man nor a high priestess there. That was a bit of a shame. Uh, music box I wouldn't use to find the ghost room, although you can if you want to. Um, and yeah, the other... Every item is just like... As, has its use cases, although I think the voodoo doll really shines. Let me know what your favorite is. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, the love the gamers here in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. We're going to the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.